This week, we are talking about artist Greg Mike. Greg Mike is an artist based out of Atlanta, Georgia. He's most known for his larger-than-life murals and silly characters. While the artist has numerous canvas paintings on display all over the world, it is most definitely his vibrant and loud murals that have made him so popular. His most famous character is known as Larry Loudmouth. And for this week's assignment, we are going to draw Larry Loudmouth together. I recommend doing it in your sketchbook if you have one. We might continue this lesson when we come back in person, and it might just be fun to have it in your sketchbook. So the first thing I'm going to do when I look at Larry Loudmouth is I see the mouth and the body shape is sort of a rectangle. I've seen his Larry Loudmouths are usually um, a horizontal rectangle rather than a vertical. This one looks a little more vertical or square-like, but again, it's my creation, not his, so of course it's going to look different. I recommend using a ruler. If you don't have a ruler, you can use any sort of straight edge. I'm just going to use a book as a straight edge, and essentially what I'm going to do is draw my rectangles. I say rectangles because uh, the mouth is a rectangle as well as the outer uh, line of his body. I think it's a body. I don't know. Um, I'm drawing first with pencil so I can erase later and then I will trace with Sharpie and erase my runaway pencil lines. My runaway pencil lines are the lines that I sometimes miss when I am tracing over with the Sharpie. Last spring, I was uh, painting artist rocks, like recreations of famous artworks on rocks, and placing them around the neighborhood for you guys to find. I don't know if any of you found any. But then I came across Greg Mike and his Larry Loudmouth, and I or Loudmouth. I think I did a couple Larry Loudmouths, but then I was inspired and I started to create my own um, monster rocks. And um, anyways, it's always fun to see how you can be inspired. So I'm going to guesstimate the center for Larry Loudmouth mouth's teeth, and then also the center for his eyes. Right now, I'm just kind of eyeing um, placement marks. Okay. I'm drawing very lightly so that if I don't like a line, it's uh, more easily erased. Mm, those aren't very even, but I'm going to roll with it for now. Um, and then if we look at Larry Loudmouth, I don't have his example, but the one tooth is sort of jagged right here. So, and there's four on top and four on the bottom. And then he has his tongue. Right. And then his eyes, which um, have the iris, the pupil, and then a highlight. Now I'm going to go ahead and trace it and then color it. Notice that when I color with marker, I'm not scribbling I'm basically just drawing lines really close together because the ink in the marker will bleed out a little bit wider than the line. 
So if I just trace lines right next to each other, essentially it fills it in and appears that I am coloring and it's much neater and it's much kinder to our marker. If you scribble, you're not gonna have this nice point on your marker um, and you'll use up all the ink. So all you need to do is draw lines next to each other, pretty close together. And make sure they're all going in the same direction, your lines. Those will look much neater than if you are scribbling and going crazy. So again with the marker, I like to sort of outline the space that I'm coloring. And I'm adding the color too. And then I'm just pushing my marker down as I go from the top to the bottom. Then I lift top to the bottom. So some students go down and then up and then down and then up. But I want you to go down, lift, down, lift, down, lift. Down, left. So I am only putting the marker to the paper when I'm drawing my line towards me. My marker is not on the paper when I'm pushing the marker further away from me. Okay, so you can see a couple differences in the two Greg mics that I made. I'm sorry, the Larry Loudmouths of uh, Greg mics that I made. Uh, when I colored this one with marker, I made sure that all of my lines uh, were going top to bottom, and then I turned my paper and it did top to bottom again, which makes it look like my lines are on the sides going up and down and on the top and bottom going sideways, which is totally fine. Um, this Larry Loudmouth, I did all of the lines up and down. Um, what else is different? This one has a blue line right here, whereas this one doesn't. And I think that's because I totally forgot about his blue body when I was drawing this one. I just did the mouth and then the eyes, um, and then I remembered the blue body. So either one is fine. They both remind me of Greg Mike, and that's really all I'm looking for is for you guys to create some sort of Larry Loudmouth uh, replica that will remind me of Greg Mike um, and know that you studied him. Don't forget to post your work to this week's Padlet. I can't wait to see what you guys created. And also don't forget your name and class code.